Hello and welcome to Pi Excellence Tutorials with your one and the only the Pi Excellence Tutor. Well, we are still in the series of um, rotation dynamics, and I think this question is has to do with um, with angular momentum. Well, yes. have you yet subscribed to the YouTube channel? If not yet, kindly click on the subscription button. And also don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new content. Well, so the question goes, a children's uh, merry-go-round consisting of an essentially uniform 150 kilogram solid disc is rotating at um, 15 rev per minute about a vertical axis. Um, the radius of the disc is um, six meter. If an uh, 80 kilogram person quickly sits down on the edge, what is its new angular speed? Well, so here we're dealing with uh, conservation of angular momentum. Conservation of angular momentum, meaning if there is no external torque on the system, we know that angular momentum is going to be conserved. So here, what we have to understand is that the solid disk has got moment of inertia. All right, let's look at this. We are saying um, angular momentum Okay, we're saying angular momentum must be conserved. So if, so angular momentum is given by L, must be conserved. So this L is basically given by the moment of inertia times the angular velocity. So let's picture out like something like this that may we go around is like that. So is rotating in that direction with that angular um, velocity. And secondly, someone sits at that end. So this has got a radius. Someone sits at the end. What will be the new, what will be the new angular speed? All right, so now, if we are saying that angular momentum is conserved here, we are saying that the initial angular momentum should be equal to the final angular momentum if this is one system, all right? So now, initially, this disk has got its own moment of inertia and it's moving with that angular speed. Now, after a man, is it a man? After a person sits at the, uh, on the edge of this disc, we're going to notice that there'll be change, of course, in the angular uh, speed, the way it will be spinning. This is more like, for instance, uh, the ballet uh, dancers, all right? When they're dancing, if... Um, they want to reduce the speed. What do they do? They stretch out their hands, right? They stretch out their hands and they begin to spin slower. What that means is that the moment of inertia is being increased there. And if they go their hands towards their body or lift them up their head like that, 
what you're going to see is that they are going to spin faster. That spinning is the angular speed. So the angular speed is going to be increased. Why? Because the moment of inertia has been reduced by gluing of hands to the body or lift them, lifting them up uh, their head. All right, so now, what is going to happen now in this system where we have introduced a certain mass or a certain inertia, again, on the system of the person who is weighing 80, 80, 80 kg? All right, so now, this is what is going to happen. This I1 is the moment of inertia of the disc that is rotating here, all right? And this is what what is going to be what? Um, so let me say this is I final. All right. So this is the angular speed at which it was rotating. Now, the final inertia is going to be what? The summation of the inertia of the disk and the inertia of the person. Now, since they become a one system, one it sits on the disk and becomes one system, the disc and the person, they are going to rotate or they are going to move with the same or uniform angular speed. All right. So what we're going to have at the end is that we're going to have the inertia of the, the, the system is going to be the inertia of the, man, uh, the person and the inertia of the disc times that angular velocity. They are going to move with the uniform uh, angular velocity because the man is sitting on the disc or on the edge of the same disc. So this is what we're going to have. Now, it means the problem has been simplified. So we divide both sides by the summation of the initials and mom, angular velocity or angular speed is going to be that. All right, so now let's look at this now. How do we get inertia? So the inertia of the disk, we know that a solid disk is given by half MR squared, all right? And also the inertia, so this is I1. The inertia of the person I2 is given as MR squared. Yeah. So we get this. And the radius is going to be the same because we are told to say the man or the person is sitting at the edge. The edge. So the radius is going to be the same. Yeah. So we put this. We are going to have half. MR squared times omega. Uh, and here, we're going to have moment of inertia of the man, half MR squared plus the moment of inertia, oh, sorry, of the disk and the moment of inertia of the man like that. All right. So how would do we do that? We just now put our values. So we're going to have um, half and the mass. What's the mass of this disk? It's 150 kg. 150 kg. The radius, we are told to say is what? The radius, okay, so let me write here. This, the initial, it was moving at 15 rev per minute. The radius is six meters. Mass of the man, 80 kg. Mass of the disk, 150 kg. All right.
All right. So now we have the radius, which is six meters, and this is squared times uh, 15 rev per minute over half 150 kg and six meter squared plus 80 kg times six meter squared. So we punch that one. The top part is giving us 40,500 rev per minute. And the down part is going to give us um, 55. 5,580. And once we divide that, we get uh, about 7.26 rev per minute. So that is how you get to find um, that one. So it's simple, right? Yeah. So. If you've enjoyed this video, kindly give it a reaction. Don't be too stingy with the reactions. Give it a reaction and share with your colleagues. See you in the next video. Thank you for your time.